compression. Again, we have two cases here. When same volume, final volume, and same final pressure. So two graph I am drawing here. This is P. This is D. Final pressure is same. This is PF, case one. When when final pressure is same, and the other one, can you see this? Who is singing what? <laughs> what? What is it? I'm the smart one. No, no, no. How did you judge that? No, like both are smart, but then like. One of them is looking for the. It's controversy, no? Is it? Other tell me, which graph is this? Which graph is this? Yeah, exactly. 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 Top one is adiabatic for both. Right? So this is isothermal. Slope also you can compare. And this is adiabatic. This is adiabatic and this is isothermal. Do you see it is reversed now? The lower graph is now isothermal. Huh? <laughs> this question is which graph represent which gas? Why? use the slope. Slope and gamma P4, O2, and H E and O2. P4, O2, and H E. What is the reason for the intersection? So why do they intersect at a point? So when, when gamma is higher, then the slope will be less than that. No, gamma is higher means more slope. Minus also we have there. Minus gamma P by P. So but like the magnet why we have minus gamma high is slope high and inverse. Okay. So then the gamma is more than the oxygen is more than the oxygen. Last one is what? Helium. Okay. So because helium is more than the oxygen. See first of all, when the graph is See here, when the graph intersects, it means all these are adiabatic uh, for adiabatic process. It's not isothermal, it's adiabatic. Now in isothermal and adiabatic, if you compare this, this is expansion, so upper one will be isothermal and the lower one will be adiabatic. This is what we did. Sir, they are all adiabatic. Wait, wait. Wait. Correct? Isothermal is what? PV constant. And here is what? PV gamma constant. Here, here you see PV to the power 1 we have. And here the gamma is what? Greater than 1. So when the power of P increases, the graph shifts downwards. That also we can conclude. Right? So for monoatomic gas, the gamma value is what? 
1.66 for diatomic. One point four zero, and for helium it is one point three three. So when gamma value increases, the graph shifts downwards, right? It means the lower graph is for. So that's P4. So P4 is 1.3. Well, it's reversed. So this is P. This is P4. No, and this is H. Right? It means this graph is for maximum gamma, and that is for helium, and this is O2, and this is P4. Okay. Question right now, guys. Two moles of an ideal. Write down two moles of an ideal monoatomic gas. Two moles of an ideal monoatomic gas. CV value in bracket. Write down monoatomic gas. After that, write down CV in bracket. Twelve point five five joule per mole per kelvin. 12.55 joule per mole per kelvin. Bracket <coughs> close. Expands irreversibly and adiabatically. Irreversibly and adiabatically. <coughs> from an I from an initial pressure of from an initial pressure of 1.013. Zero one three Pascal against a constant external pressure against a constant external pressure of zero point one zero one three Pascal one zero one three Pascal until until the temperature drop from its initial value until the temperature drop from its initial value of 325 Kelvin to temperature drop from its initial value of 325 Kelvin to a final value of 275 Kelvin. 325 Kelvin to a final value of 275 Kelvin. How much work is done? How much work is done? And what is the final volume? Irreversible anyway. Somewhere around twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. No, it's finished. Final volume seventeen. What is the unit? Unit tell me. Everything is finished. Okay. Because seventeen thousand seven twenty three milliliter. Seventeen thousand seven twenty three milliliter. See, first of all, work done you need to find out. So in adiabatic, uh, what is the process we have? Adiabatic irreversible. So work done is delta U. Adiabatic process. And this is equals to what? NCV delta T. N is given to CV is also given. 12.55. And T2 minus T1 is what? 3. 275, right? So this is the. That's just one five five. No, no, no. No, no, no. So work done is what? So it's negative 1 to 5. So we have given initial temperature as a feedback. Oh, so it is plus, it is minus. Yeah, it should go 
become negative. Expansion. 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 And any way it is worked on by the system, it should be negative. So this is work done. Now the initial volume we can find out. So work done. What we can write? This work done minus one two double five is further equals to minus p external into delta v v two minus v one. This v two we need to find out. So this will be uh, one two double five divided by p external plus v one is equals to v two. From P V is equals to N R T, we can find right. This V one is not given, right? So V one is equals to what we can write? P V one is equals to N R T one. So V one we can find out from this number of moles is two. R value is temperature. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. No, sir. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. Three twenty five divided by pressure is what? One point zero one zero. From this, you'll get value of uh, volume. Substitute here. P external, you already know. Substitute, you'll get P. See, while calculating work done, you don't have to put negative sign anywhere, right? When you write down the formula, it is always minus P external delta V. But when you solve like this, whatever answer you'll get here, sign. According to that, you can say whether it is work done by the system or on the system. You don't have to put negative sign or positive sign. Okay. Next question, you write down. So V two expression will be one two double five divided by one point zero one three plus V one is two into eight point. Three one four into three two five. But the P external is zero point zero five zero. Yeah. So P external zero point zero. P external is it? Yeah. Ah, constant external zero. Zero point zero point zero zero one zero. Right. Oh, that's right. Right. So when you solve this, you'll get final volume. Sir, so, this is liters. So yeah. unit whatever. This is the method. Sir, but that's like seventeen thousand. Sir, this is ml. Sir, this is everything is an SI, sir. No, I don't know what answer you'll get here. Sir, this is from here the answer will be liter. This is question. Ha, that will be liter. Whatever answer you'll get, unit will be liter. Okay. Magnitude जो भी करते हैं। Okay, next question write down. Calculate the work done when one mole of zinc. Calculate the work done when one mole of zinc dissolves in. तो इधर दूसरी आ रही है। हाँ, तो इधर दूसरी। Dissolves in HCl. Pass pass. Dissolves in HCl. It's in HCl and two seven feet. In HCl four. In an open beaker and closed beaker. Open beaker, close beaker. When I do that, we have a lunch. No, open. So we need to close. Yeah, then open. Close beaker, but push not. Excellent pressure zero. Yeah. Friend of yours, not at all. Write down this question. An ideal gas. An ideal gas expands against a constant external pressure of two atmospheric. An ideal gas expands against a constant external pressure of two atmospheric. 
from 20 liter to 40 liter. Haan, two atmospheric from 20 liter to 40 liter. Constant external pressure at two atmospheric from 20 liter to 40 liter. And absorb 10 kilojoule of energy from surrounding. Haan. And absorb 10 kilojoule of energy from surrounding. Ten kilojoule of energy from surrounding. What is the change in internal energy? Do it fast. Four zero five five nine four eight. What four zero five nine eight four zero? See, external pressure is given and volume is given. So find out work done. And then kilojoule of energy is the value of Q. Use first law of thermodynamics. Yeah, delta U Q minus. In this case, it will be minus because work is expanding. It's expanding. Yes. So you get a negative value. Yeah. So no, 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 no. Sorry. You, you, you just use minus P delta V. You'll get minus plus whatever it is. That you how much? 6 kilos. How? First of all, what you did? 10,000 minus 40. Work done is ATM liter. Is an ATM liter. That you need to convert into your power. Sir, See the work done that you find P delta V, that the unit is ATM liter, that you have to convert into joules. So it's 101.36, right? 101.3, yes. See, the formula is this, delta U, is equals to Q plus W. That is what you need to do. When you use P delta V formula here, the unit will be ATM liter. Right? But this Q is given in kilojoule. So this you have to convert into joule or kilojoule. Right? So Q is 10 into 10,000 joule plus external pressure. Two. Delta V is what? Forty minus twenty minus P delta V. Minus P delta V. But this is eighty liter. This into hundred zero one point. Expand from 20 to 40. 40 times 40. 5 minus 40. Is it 0? 20. Is it 20? 20. 20. 20. It's 20. Directly you can convert this into Joule. It's work and work. It's too much. 6,000 of loss. You said kilo Joule. I heard it's Joule. I thought it's Joule. Can it work and convert to Joule? So what is correct? So, yeah, it's correct. So it is 10,000 minus what we get? What is this value? 40 into this? Like somewhere like... More than 4,000 you get here. Yeah. Approximately 4,000. Is it 590? 590, right. So around 6 kilo joule or 6,000 joule you'll have the answer. Exact value is 59 something it is given. Right, exact value is... 5948 it is given option. Right? So that we do. So always keep that in mind. ATM later you have to convert into.